right. Let's begin our yoga. This day, this nice day. Okay. Find your seats and we'll begin. So let's just close our eyes and arrive in the space. And music and vibration is so important for us as humans. Like we, it helps us to connect to whatever the energy is outside of our body. Yeah. So today listening to music after class and dancing just uplifts the body. We're also going to start class with three rounds of the primordial sound of OM. So that's a vibration that also connects us to the earth vibration, to the universal vibration. Yeah. And so we will begin with just take a couple cleansing breaths. So take a breath in and let it go. Ah. Feel the body relax on that exhale breath. And take another breath in and breathe out. Ah. With a sigh, nice and long and relaxed. And now we'll take a breath in for Om. So taking a breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, say the sound of Om. Om. Relax. Again, take a breath in for the sound of Om. Oh. Ah. Another breath in. Oh. And my teacher always says that by the second ohm, the connection is happening. Yeah, so connecting to that vibration, that universal, connecting us to each other, to nature. Yeah, we are not alone and never will be on this earth. And when you're feeling red, actually, let's keep our eyes closed. And let's just do a few more rounds of four-part breath. Yeah, so we're gonna take a breath in through the nose, now pause the breath at the top and then breathe out through the nose and pause the breath at the bottom. Do three more at your own pace. Just consciously taking a breath in long as you can, holding the breath relaxed as long as you can. And when you feel you need to exhale through the nose, exhale longer, squeezing out all the air. A couple more at your own pace. And just noticing the inhale breath as it gives you energy. Pausing the breath, listening to the silence, so much in the silence. And then breathing out. Mm -hmm. Feeling the body relax. More. And then at the bottom of your next exhale breath, as you squeezed out all the air, just relax the breath. And when you're feeling ready and complete, just gently begin to flutter the eyes open. Yeah. Yeah, our minds, you know, as we said, and I said in, in my knowledge this, this week, that today we're going to, 95% of the thoughts we were uh, hooked on yesterday, we're going to, 95% of those thoughts we're going to think about today, right? And it's like, what good did they do me yesterday? And so what good are they going to do me today? <laughs> and so to look at our mind like a, movie like a comedy or a drama and just talk to it like you silly mind you know you know that that's silly you know like I'm not going to get you anywhere yeah and we talk about the power of positive thinking yeah and that's what then 
we will start to think about. Yeah. All right. So let's um, bring our hands down onto our lap. Actually, we're going to do a little massage, a little self-love massage. So taking your hands and just brushing your forehead, your fingers, just brushing your forehead. If you have glasses like me, you kind of have to work around it or you can take them off. And then bringing your peace fingers onto your temples and just massaging your temples. Feel free to close your eyes here if you'd like. And then taking all four of your fingers, the pads, and just, you know, massaging your cheeks. Nice and easy. Good. And then taking your fingers to the top of your ears and pulling your ears up gently. And then taking your hands to the side of your ears and pulling your ears back gently. And then to your earlobes and pulling them down gently. And then taking your fingers to behind your ears and then pressing in and drawing your fingers down the side of your neck to your collarbone. This is helping us to wake up that vagus nerve, that biggest nerve in our body that is responsible for our internal organ function. Yes, our heart, our digestion, our cleansing, our detoxification, yeah. breath. So it's important. Yeah, good. And relax. And then just brush as if you're brushing off dog hair on your body, on your uh, clothes. Just brush. Here, take your hands and tap your chest. So our skin is the largest organ of our body and it has all these nerve endings, right? So when we tend to it, it helps us to get energized, to relax, and then along your thighs, yeah. And then maybe even along your side body here. Yeah, a lot of nerve endings there. So just waking up the prana energy and then let's shake, 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 shake. Blink your eyes, shake your body, shake your head. And come to your last day. Yeah, good. All right. So we're going to take our um, uh, hands to either side of our body here. We're going to spread our fingers wide and make a fist. Spread your fingers wide and make a fist. And spread and make a fist. And relax your hands down alongside your body. Nice tall spine, shoulders back. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Keep your shoulders gently back. Roll your head over to one side and up and to the other side and forward. A nice couple slow circles. Inhaling up and exhaling forward. And last one. And next time you come forward, pause and reverse. Smile on the face and eyes can be soft. Close. Notice, become aware of your neck. So much of life, next time your head comes forward, pause and lift. So much of life and having a positive life is just awareness, right? Oh, so often we're not aware that we think negatively or we worry about things that are really not ever going to happen or just, you know, and we're not conscious of that. So having that consciousness of Oh, this is what is happening. This is what is happening in my body. This is what is happening in my mind is the beginning of that shift of that more happy, our finding our joy and our peace, right? And our contentment, which is already in us. That's us. Yeah. All right. We're going to scoot forward a little bit in our chairs, arms again, down alongside the body. Let's press down into our feet and lift our shoulders up, stretch the spine long. And exhale, relax the shoulders. Good. One more time. Press into your feet like you want to stand. Lift the shoulders up as high as they'll go. And then just imagine the spine just getting nice and 
all that space between our vertebrae um, getting a little bit bigger, wider. Yeah. Because as we age, gravity is not our 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 friend, and you know all of, everything gets compressed. So that's just such a nice stretch for the spine. Good. All right. Hands on our lap. We're gonna take a nice big breath in, and exhale it out. Draw, drop your hands down. Good. And then turn your palms out, and very easily with relaxed shoulders, inhale. Bring your arms out and up. Mm, yeah. And exhale, turn your palms out and let your arms float down. Now only take this as um, as much as the shoulders will allow. Inhale, arms out and up. And exhale, hands down, just like you're flying. Yeah, taking off and flying. Inhale, up. And exhale. And roll out the shoulders. Yeah. So next, I think next week we're going to do we're about halfway to springtime. And this is around the time, and then roll the shoulders opposite direction. This is around the time where all the seeds, all the seeds that are under the earth, are starting to ooh, wake up a little bit and start to turn up and get ready to sprout. Such a nice time up here. So we'll we'll work on we'll we'll uh, have that in our awareness next week. All right, hands on our thighs. We're gonna do a little cat cow. Actually, let's relax the arms down again. And on an inhale breath, we're gonna bring our arms halfway up, bend our elbows, and bring our hands interlace them behind your head. And relax your shoulders. Good. Now, this is uncomfortable for you. You can just be in cactus pose here. That's more comfortable. Good. We're going to do a little cat cow here. We're going to inhale. We're going to lift the chin slightly, reach the elbows back, just gently, not over stretching. And then exhale. We're going to bring the elbows forward, relax the head forward. We're not yanking down on our head, we're just dropping it. Yeah, coming into a little cat pose here. And then press into your feet as you lift the head back up and fan the elbows back out and look up. And exhale, curl in just gently. Yeah. And then inhale one more time, press into your feet, fan the elbows out, look up. So it's just the lifting of the heart and looking up helps us to be in our more positive frame of mind. Yeah, smile on the face even. Yeah. And then bring the head just straight back forward. And then gently unclasp your hands behind you and just let the arms slowly and gently float down. Good. And shake it out. Good. Relax the arms down, press into your feet. Inhale one more time, reach the arms out and up. So stretch up as tall as you can. Make little fists with your hands. Look up towards the ceiling and just stretch gently as long as you can. Stretching that spine again, the sides of your rib cage. And now bring the head back forward. Start to rotate the fists at your wrists. And as you're rotating your hands you're around, you're slowly starting to drop the arms. Sometimes that takes the tension out of the shoulders to allow the arms to slowly descend. Yeah, I think the energy, like little propellers in our wrists and our fists. Yeah, good. And relax. And now shake out the fingers, flop them around. Yeah, good. All right, we're going to come to little wider legs. Yeah. So being a little bit more forward in your chair, but feeling grounded in, on your sit bones. Yeah, good. And then just knees right above the heels, right? So if the feet are further out than your knees, heel toe them back into so that we have a nice 90 degree angle here in these, um, that knee area, good. And take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can slide your belly forward a little bit. Yeah, being mindful that you don't fall off your chair. <laughs> don't want that. Pressing down into your toes, engaging the, the muscles of the legs. 
just come a little bit forward and keeping the spine straight keep the head above the shoulders yeah and then press down and slowly come back up good again take a breath in and on an exhale just come forward slightly and let's do a few rotations of the upper body so going over to the right as you draw back stuff that low belly in and to the other side so keep the head not moving keep the head just floating above the shoulders yeah and we're rotating the trunk of our body noticing the weight shift from one hip bone to the other yeah. noticing as you go back your core engaging to keep you stable next time you come forward pause and reverse do some nice conscious mindful circles of the body noticing how the body is feeling yeah stretching the inner thighs and when you go back tuck that, that belly to below the navel back that's the core anytime we do any work for our core it saves our low back next time you come forward pause Good, and slowly come back up, good. All right, we're gonna do another forward fold. So take a nice big breath in, lift the heart. And as you exhale, hinge forward at your hips, yeah. If it's available to you, you can bring your elbows one at a time onto your thighs. Let your hands hang down. You can look down at the floor, good. And so we remaining here, if you would like to take it further, and only if it's in your practice, you can bring your fingertips towards the floor. But that's a little bit too much for me and my bad. Yeah, so you can bring one fingertip to the floor and then the other. And if you try that and it's too much, bring one elbow at a time back up to your thighs. Another option here is Taking a breath in and exhale, let the crown of your head just drop down. Try to relax your shoulders away from your ears. And come into this inversion, this forward fold, wherever you'd like to be. If you've dropped your head and you're feeling too much pressure in your eyes or your head, you just lift it back up to where it's comfortable. Take two more nice deep breaths here. Each time you exhale, see if you can melt your upper body a little closer to the floor. Yeah. Good. All right, if your fingers are down on the floor, bring your elbows back up one at a time to your thighs. Good. And now we're gonna bring our hands one at a time onto our thighs. The head is still down. Start to press down into your palms and slowly bring the body back up. Yeah. And once the body is fully up, then lift your head. Last thing to come up. Yeah, good. All right, nice. And we're going to toe heel, toe heel our feet all the way together. So our knees are together. And we're one at a time, we're going to take our feet and step up out. So our feet are a little bit wider than our knees, but we're on the heels, we're not on the toes. Yeah. And just scoot your feet out as wide as you can, making sure that you still have your heels grounded. Good. And then relax your arms down and we're gonna bring our arms into cactus pose and lift our heart. So you're gently pressing your knees together. So you're lifting your heart. And then we're gonna open the fingers as wide as you can and then make a fist. Close your fingers and squeeze your fist. And then open and close. And open and close. Good, and release your hands down, arms down. Okay. All right, and then you can release your knees a little wider and heel toe your feet back to hip distance apart, finding our mountain pose, our seated mountain pose. Nice tall spine, yes. shoulders back and down. Good, press down into your feet on an inhale breath, circle sweep your arms out and up. Good, and then interlace your hands above your head. You can bend your elbows, interlace your fingers, and then bring your Kali uh, mudra, the Kali 
up. Just point your fingers up towards the sky. And reach up. Good. And breathe. Good. So stretching comfortably long. Another nice stretch for our spine. And then exhale, relax. Gently unclasp your hands. Again, make a fist. And this time, reverse. Whichever way you were before, we're gonna make circles. So if it feels familiar, then you wanna do the opposite way. And as your arms descend down, we're just circling our arms, our hands at our wrists. Yeah, as our arms drop. It's a little more challenging doing it the opposite way. Yeah, good. And shake it out, good. So really, this is our balance, you know, uh, stability uh, uh, class today. And so a really great way to um, practice the ability that agility, right? So having agility to be in a different place than our eyes are is really good for balance. So an easy thing to do is look at a distance and find something to look at, whether it's a window pane or a little thing on your hanging on your door or whatever it is, you know, as far as you can and keep your eyesight on that as you move your head all different directions. Just look at that, keep looking at that item as you're moving your head down and up and to the side and to the side. And that's really good practice to keep our agility, right? Yeah, as things are moving, we get that connection to the, our brain to say, okay, but I need to stay focused here. So anyway, and then come back to center. That's a little nice little tip that you can easily do on a regular basis to help that balance our balance so we don't fall. All right, we're gonna make our way to, uh, let's stretch our, um, our thighs here a little bit and then we'll make our way to standing. So we are still scooted forward in our chair. Good, and we're gonna take the right foot and start to slide it back underneath your chair as far as you can and then come maybe to the top of your foot so that this right knee is reaching down towards the floor again just to where it's comfortable for you good all right so getting this little opening in this hip flexor and in this thigh now we're going to lift the heart if it's available to you you're going to reach your arms up coming into sort of a seated lunge here. Good. And then even lift the gaze up towards maybe where the ceiling meets the wall. So try to get as tall as you can in the upper body as you gently reach your leg, your knee down towards the floor. Yeah, and breathe. Good. Nothing should be uncomfortable. Just a little bit of a challenge maybe. Good. And then on your next exhale breath, bring your gaze back forward, release your hands down onto your lap. And then you can even help this right thigh slide it back out from underneath your chair. Yeah, good. And let's do the other side. Slide that leg back and foot back as it goes back. And maybe the top of your shoe comes parallel to the floor. And just bring that left knee down towards the floor. Yeah. Notice this side if it's any different. And then again, you can just lift your heart. If you wanna reach your arms up towards the sky or even just one arm, the, the left arm. Yeah, good. And then get as tall as you can. Lift your heart and look up as you're gently, consciously reaching your left knee towards the floor. You're lifting the upper body up from the waist up. Yeah, and long in that front body. Good. And then as you exhale, slowly relax the hands back down, the gaze back down. Good. And you can take this little hand here and help just slide that left leg out from underneath. Good. And just rock your knees side to side. Yeah, nice and loose. Loosen up those thighs. We're going to need the strength of our thighs. So before we stand up, we're gonna just relax the arms down alongside the body. You can hold on to your chair here and see if you can lift the right knee up and bring it down and lift the left knee up and bring it down. So feeling these hip flexors and these thighs engaged. So 
So sort of just a little march here, right and left and right and left. Strengthening those big muscles. Strengthening our muscles is paramount to keeping ourselves upright and not falling. And if we do fall, to protect the skeletal system with our nice, strong muscles. So the next time we lift the right knee up, we're gonna pause and hold it. And tuck your belly in, nice tall spine. See how long you can hold it. And at whatever point, if you start to start feeling it in your back, it's time to release that down. Good, let's just do the left one. Lift the left knee up and hold. Tucking the belly in, shoulders back, spine is tall. Hold as long as is comfortable on your body. Yeah, this is a little strengthening of that big thigh muscle. And notice the uh, uh, one side or the other. Are you able to hold one side or the other longer? When you need to, when you're starting to feel it in your back or you're fatigued, you let it go. And notice, I noticed this side was a lot weaker because I couldn't hold it up as long as this side. Very, very um, common, yeah. And it's usually your dominant side, but that wasn't my dominant side. So, just a little trick. Okay. So let's make our way to standing, which we also use these sides for. Sliding your heels back slightly, press your thighs gently into your hands as you lean forward. And then on an inhale breath, as you're pressing your thighs into your hands, if this is comfortable for you, not just stand up the way you usually do. Press your thighs into your hands, lead with your heart, and slowly make your way to a nice, tall stance and let's move over to the back of our chairs here forward slide it out of the way good and just shake it out let's start with shaking the feet yeah and then add the lower legs so sort of isolating our shake that's kind of a challenge and then the whole leg right foot up to the thigh and now let's add the hips. Okay. And let's add the hands, just the hands. <laughs> That's challenging. And then the arms, good. And then the shoulders, good. And now the head, and you can even blink the eyes, yeah. When you, if you have an animal, you see that they do this all the time. They usually start with their head, right? And then relax. Yeah, they usually start with their head and then their middle body and then their tail, right? They shake it off. Good. Nice work, everyone. Okay. So let's again, let's just do a little massage here on our waist. Let the heart rate come back down. And relax. All right. We're going to inhale, reach our right arm up. And as high as you can, even look up. Let's just pull down our, our pretend rope here. So let's pretend we grab onto a rope that's about three inches thick, big, thick rope. You're gonna hold onto it with your fist. You're gonna pull it down. As if we wanna, it's on a pulley and we're pulling it down. And then reach the left arm up, and grab onto that rope. There is tension in your fist, your fingers, and pull it down. And one more time, right? Grab on and pull it down. And left, grab on and pull it down. Good, ah, and relax. Bring your legs a little bit wider apart. Soften your knees and inhale and exhale. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Ha, ah, just make this feel fluid. Good and uh, amazing. Ha. 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 And one more. Ha. And come back to center. Let's find our mountain pose, our standing mountain pose now. So palms forward, kneecaps lift, shoulders gently back, tummy tucks, chin tucks. Yes. Hopefully by now, 
you're finding yourself more and more during the course of your days that you start to stand nice and tall. Just that is super helpful for fall prevention, right? Our body just feeling stacked, our joints feeling stacked. Yeah, good. All right, we're gonna raise our arms forward. We're gonna take a breath in. And as you exhale, soften your knees and start to twist your arms over to the right. Your arms are parallel. You can look over to the left with your left head, looking over that right shoulder. Good. And then inhale, come forward with your hands and body and exhale over to the left. Yes, knees are soft, don't lock the knees. And inhale forward. And one more time over to the right. Maybe a little further, maybe not. Maybe that's enough on your spine. And inhale forward and exhale to the other side. And inhale forward, good. And exhale, relax the arms down. Ha, roll out the shoulders, shake out the hands. Between each asana, just give your body a little shake to shake off the tension so that the next one we can just start with a nice new open body. Yeah, all right. We're gonna lift our right arm up. We're gonna come into a side bend. So the left hand can just be pressing gently into the thigh. We're gonna reach up, exhale it out and reach up a little bit more. Good. Now on an inhale breath, reach up, stretch up and exhale, stretch long and just lean over. Your hips gently slide slightly to the right as you lean over to the left. And let's turn our gaze and look underneath our right arm and breathe and feel that long, um, that stretch along the whole right side of your body, gently pressing into the outside of your right foot. Yeah, and again, don't take this to the point where it doesn't feel right or it, it's uncomfortable, but just to where it feels like a nice stretch. Good. And then inhale, slowly press into that right foot, bring the body back up and exhale, bring your hand into a fist and roll your fist as your arm slowly descends down towards the floor. Yeah. Good. Let's lift the left arm up. Good. And take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, stretch up as tall as you can. Good. And let's take a breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and lean over to the right. Look underneath the left arm. Belly's tucked in. Breathe. Yes. With each exhale breath, see if you can relax and just let the body fall over to the right a little more. Smile on the face. Just opening up. Our prana energy opening up our little ligaments and tendons in our rib cage, fascia tissue in there. And then inhale, slowly come back up and bring your hand into a fist and roll the fist, the hand as you slowly let the arm float down. Good. And relax and roll it out. Let's shake it out. Shake out any tension. Good. Yeah. And let's just come into a little march here. Yeah. So getting the heart rate going a little bit. Good. You can walk forward and back and forward and back. Watch, walk side to side. Try that. <laughs> little dancing. So again, as I said before, music is so important for us, right? Important for our, our psyche, for to connect us to the energy of the universe. And so is dancing. Yeah, that's why dancing feels so good. When's the last time we went dancing? It's been a while for me. And it was with my kids, so I didn't dance because you know how your kids can't stand watching their parents dance. <laughs> It is pretty ugly. 
Yeah, and relax, but that's okay. We're at this age, we're like, who cares what they think? Yeah, and relax, good. All right, little forward fold. Actually, we're gonna come to our mountain pose. Just that nice tall spine. Looking up, not looking down. Yeah, reach the arms, let them float just halfway. And reach your fingers out to either side of the room. Stretch, stretch, stretch your fingers out to either side of the room. Yeah, and then lift your fingers up and bring them down. And up and down. Reach the fingers up, spread the fingers wide. Reach the fingertips forward and back. This is, can be challenging for the shoulders. So you wanna relax the shoulders and just let the hands glide forward and back. Nice and easy. Yes, good. And then release and let the arms float down. Nice. And roll out your shoulders in one direction and other direction. We're gonna grab some nice big air here. So we're gonna do our conductor pose, really like that for big deep breaths. So you're gonna inhale, bring the arms forward, inhale more as they come out and inhale even more as they go up. And as you exhale, just let the body drop forward. Yeah, just a little bit. Inhale, inhale more, inhale more and exhale. Inhale, in, in, exhale. Bending those knees a little bit as you exhale. In, exhale, just make this nice and fluid. Yeah, being mindful not to drop too far forward. In, in, exhale, and one more. In, more, more, exhale. Yeah, that feels good. And wiggle it out. All right, and we're gonna just step our body side to side now, sliding side to side. So as sliding side to side, getting off that center line is helpful for our balance. Yeah, okay. All right, more, okay. And come back to center. Let's bring our legs together. This is a good balance challenge too. You know, just like when we were sitting and we're looking at something and then we're moving our head around, but we're looking, this is also something we can do regularly. We're standing, brushing our teeth, standing at our sink, just bringing your legs together can take you off, you know, your center line. And that's good, easy balance practice, right? We're going to bring our hands onto our thighs. We're going to slide our hands down to our knees. Gently press your legs together and just make tiny little circles with your knees. Just bathing those knee joints and the area around our knee joints. If you have replacements, yeah, it's just good to move that all that stuff around the knee joints as well. And come back to center. Good, and press into your feet and slowly bring the body back up. All right, we're gonna come into a balance challenge here. So you may need your chair if it's not already uh, in front of you. Yeah, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be stepping to the side and lifting a leg, right? The opposite leg. So, and then we're gonna hold it. So the stepping to the side is our practice for our agility and the holding it in a balance is good for our balance, yeah. All right, so you can start with hand on the chair. I'm gonna step out to the right and lift the left knee up. And get a nice tall spine, look up, look forward. Yeah. And then release that, good, all right. And now we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna step to the left. Actually, you're gonna just continue to do this side. Actually, I do wanna do side to side. So making sure that um, your knee doesn't hit your chair here. Yes, so now we're gonna to step to the left and lift the knee. Yes, and hold. Now you can continue to hold on. If you're feeling like this is pretty easy, you can do it without holding on, release. Okay, now we're gonna to step to the right, lift the left knee up, hold. See if you can release the hold, or maybe just one finger. Yeah, that hold 
is the challenge. And release. Step to the other side and lift and hold. Yeah. So you're either holding on or you're not. And release. A few more times here. Step to the right. Lift. Higher up maybe. But let me go higher and hold. And release. It's really helpful to keep that nice tall spine. Step to the left. Lift the right. And hold. Yeah. And release. Step to the right, lift the left, hold, maybe go up a little higher. Oh yeah, and release. Step to the left, lift the right, and hold. Notice if one side's easier or harder. And release. Step to the right, lift, hold. Release. Step to the left, lift. You can even come up onto your toe. The lifting is hard or challenging for you today. Yeah. And one more time. Step to the right, lift the left, pause, hold, smile, wobble, and release. And step to the other side and lift and hold and smile and wobble. And notice that this side was easier or harder and release. So that's really good. Shake it out. Nice work. Yeah. So that's a challenge, right? Doing an off step and holding it. That's what's going to help us to hold ourselves before we fall. Yeah. Good. Because, but we're not going to fall. So it's going to hold us so we don't fall. Right? That positive motion. Again, you know, speaking of negative thought, they say the biggest um, reason, the biggest uh, challenge of feeling, of, of resisting and not falling is just simply the fear of falling. That's the biggest cause of falls because the mind is saying, oh, I don't want to fall. That means I don't and want to fall. Maybe that means I want to fall. So it's just say, saying to yourself, I am stable. I am strong. I am healthy. I am, you know, um, just uh, stable and ha and healthy and balanced. Yeah, good. You get the picture, right? All right, shake it out. We're gonna come to the front of our chair. Yeah, and it's hard. It's, it's so much of it is uh, I hope or I want to, and all of that stuff is also fairly negative. Hope means something in the future, right? I hope that I get healthy instead of I am healthy. Yeah, and, 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 and getting into that frame of mind. It's like it already exists. Yes, I will never fall. Yeah, so take a breath in. Let's bring our legs together or apart. We're gonna just go into chair pose here before we sit all the way down. So sometimes it's more comfortable on your joints if you squeeze your legs together. And some people don't find that as, as comfortable. And so to have your feet hip distance apart. Yeah, so choose here, take a breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your legs together as you send your hips back. Yeah, sending those hips back. Don't, uh, keeping the knees almost above the, the ankles. Yeah. Good. And just come halfway here and then lift your heart, lift your chin slightly, take a breath in, exhale it out, send your hips maybe a little closer to the chair, a little further back and down. Yeah. A couple more breaths here and getting the thighs to work for you. Good. And then let's come out of it. So press down into your feet, slowly bring the body back up. Coming to a nice tall stand. Good. And then now bringing the feet a little wider apart. Let's try that same thing. So take a breath in. As you exhale, send your hips back. Sit back and down towards the chair. Like you wanna sit down in your chair and just notice the difference in your legs. Lift the heart, look forward. Yeah. Good. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the gaze down, grab onto the front of your chair, 
and allow your hips to go all the way down to your chair. Good. And just find a nice comfortable seat here. We're gonna cross our hands onto our chest. Yeah. So your fingers are um, flat against right below your collarbones. And close your eyes. So this is a Jin Shin point. It's an energy point in the body. These areas right below the collarbones. And when you hold them, just gently lay your fingers on them and send the energy to these areas, this area on either side of your lower collarbones. Yeah, it's sending energy to your thyroid actually helps to regulate the calcium in our blood. Good for regulating and strengthening our bones, lowering our blood pressure. That just basically helps us to adapt to situations that we cannot change, right? And to be happy in that process. To Embrace the challenge instead of resisting. Yeah. It helps us to obtain spiritual and mental, physical harmony. And alleviate our fears, our panic, our sorrow, our guilt. It just helps us to adapt to this life. So when you're feeling a little Ah, uh, not well. Just sit with your eyes closed, with your hands crossed here, just holding that area right below your collarbone. And at some point, you might start feeling a pulsating in your fingers, knowing that you're balancing yourself there. Yeah. And then when you're feeling ready, you can slowly open your eyes like holding your heart, such a nice thing to do for yourself. Yeah, so remember this one. Yeah, it really helps us to balance many things in our bodies. Good, all right. So we're scooted forward in our chair here. Let's bring our legs together again. Good, and then we're gonna roll the knees out and bring the bottoms of our feet together. Good. And then again, let's just try to find a nice tall spine. Slide your hands up your thighs just a little bit if that feels better. Look up slightly and breathe. You can close your eyes here and find some of that four part breath. Breathing in, pausing the breath. As you breathe out, can you relax? Your knees open a little bit more, your legs open just a little bit more. Yeah, opening up that first and second and third chakra, pelvic floor, belly, and solar plexus. Also helps us to just feel good. Life is good. I am strong. Everything I need is taken care of. Yeah. And feel free then to open your eyes. And take your hands to either side of your legs and slowly bring your legs together. Good. All right, and let's bring our hands, just our hands to our belly. Bring the pinky finger into the crease here. Just gonna get some digestion of support going here. So take a breath in, and as you exhale, stretch the spine long and start to lay the belly onto your hands as you come forward. Gently squeezing that, that hands into the belly by just coming forward like this. Yeah. And breathe. Start to press down into your feet and slowly bring your body back up. Yeah. And then to start to massage the belly in a counterclockwise. So you want to start on your left, right? Your left and, and go up and over to the right. So I'm not mirroring you now, you're opposite me. But yeah, this is really nice to do 
for your internal organs. Yeah, your digestion. It's really nice to do when you're laying flat, either on your bed or on the floor. Yeah, and to just get that momentum going because you're this is the ascending side of your colon and then it goes across to descend. Yeah. And relax now. Good. All right. Bring your feet just back to hip distance apart. I'm gonna just do a nice little twist before we end with Shavasana. So nice tall spine, inhale, reach the arms forward and up, and up. And then as you exhale, relax, turn the body over to the right, relax your arms down alongside your leg, your chair. You can bring that right palm onto the back of your chair if you'd like, press down. And just turn the head to look to the right. And breathe, just nice and easy. Nice little, again, squeeze for the internal organs. Releasing of toxins. It's nice to con you know, always release toxins in the body as much as we can. Drink a lot of water. Now keeping the body where it is, take a breath in. And as you exhale, we're just gonna turn the head. We're gonna turn it forward. And then we're gonna turn and look to the left. Yeah, opposite way. And a little more opening up of the neck and that vagus nerve. And then bringing the head straight back forward. Now relax the body. Slowly bring the body back forward. Let's just go right over to the other side. So nice tall spine. We're gonna turn and go look, um, the body over to the left now. Bring the hand to the side of the leg. Maybe that left palm to the back seat of your chair, just gently pressing down to keep the spine long. And then turn and look over the left shoulder. And breathe. Yeah. Nice belly breaths if you can as you breathe in. The belly rises a little and as you breathe out, it draws back. Now keeping the body where it is, take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly turn the head forward first and then slowly turn it over to the right, stretching that neck. Good. And then slowly bring the head back forward, relax the body, and slowly bring the body back forward. Shake it out, wiggle out, shake the head. Find that little item that you look at with your eyes and move your head around. Yeah. And that so helps our balance. Okay. And relax. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get ready for final relaxation. So we're gonna sit all the way back in our chair. We're gonna do some alternate nostril breathing. Body showed on. Yeah, before we send ourselves off into complete relaxation. So get yourself situated in your chair. Make sure your spine feels <clears throat> supported. If you're going to lay down, maybe you might want to do alternate nostril first and then lay down. Yeah, so I'm going to close our eyes. We're going to bring the left palm up on our lap. Touch the thumb and the pointer finger. The other three fingers are just relaxed forward. Yeah, a little chin mudra. Now we're gonna take our right fingertips, our pointer and our middle finger, touch the middle between your eyebrows and take a breath in through both of your nostrils and breathe out. And take a breath in through both of your nostrils. Touch your right nostril and breathe out the left. And breathe in the left side. And touch your left nostril and breathe out the right. All the way. And then breathe in long, slow breath in through the right. Touch your right, breathe out the left. And breathe in the left. Touch your left nostril, breathe out the right. Do three more rounds at your own pace. 
breath as slow as it can be. And it's easy, it's not strained. Notice if one nostril is a little bit more stuffed up than the other. It's okay, common. When you've done at least three rounds slowly, the next time that you breathe out the left nostril, Release your hands onto your lap. Release the mudra on your left hand, palms are up. If you want to lay down in Shavasana, feel free if that's in your practice. If not, just stay here, relaxing the body. Now let's take a nice breath in and let go. Relax the body now. Relax your shoulders and your arms, your hips, your legs, your feet. Take a nice breath in and let go. Allow your body to come to complete relaxation. The breath is soft and natural. Allow thoughts to come and go as they please. And simply let go of all of your efforts. Just for this next two minutes. Just allow a little smile on the face. begins to wander, just bring your attention to your breath. As the air goes in your nostrils and out. Let go of all of your efforts. Relax. Noting that this is your true nature. Relaxation, joy, peace. 
and it's who we are. Feel free to remain here. And should you choose now to come back into the space and time. Take a little bit deeper breath in and let it go. Begin to wiggle the body, sway side to side, move your fingers and toes. Slowly wake yourself up, remaining in this relaxed state. And back to center. And bringing your hands into prayer position, resting your thumbs onto your heart. And take a nice big deep breath in, feel your heart rise. And let go as you bow your forehead to your fingertips, relaxing your shoulders. And we'll close practice today simply with this. Believe something different can happen. When you're feeling ready, complete at your own pace, gently begin to flutter the eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming, taking care of yourself and just being here. Yes, taking the step to be in yoga. Congratulations. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.